In this video, we're going to go ahead and look at how we can zip files up using PHP. And what we're going to be doing is creating a class called Zipper, which allows us to wrap existing functionality in PHP and make it a lot easier to use. So we'll be creating this reusable class that we can go ahead and use. And this sort of wraps the functionality contained within PHP called Zip Archive. And we'll be looking at that within the class. But let's take a look at how this works in terms of what we're going to build by the end of this video. So I've, I've required in the class file you can see here, that's within the classes folder. I've got a index.php file that I'm working on here, a classes folder with the actual class in. And I've got a few files here as well. So I've got one, two and three. So I'm going to be going ahead and adding them to a zip file, choosing which files I want to put into the zip file and then storing that file. So let's go ahead and use, uh, we'll say zipper equals new zipper. So we instantiate the class that we've created. Then we go ahead and we say zipper add. Now we can use this multiple times or we can provide an array of function of, of files that we want to add into this. So let's go ahead and add this singularly. So we'll just use a string and we'll say files forward slash one dot txt. So meaning within the files folder, this one.txt file. And these uh, look just basically like this. They've just got some text within them. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and we'll say zipper add. And we'll look at how we can actually insert an array here. So an array can just contain multiple values within this as well. So we could say files forward slash two dot txt and then files forward slash three dot txt and we could of course put this in here as well but that will work it will merge them all together in one set of files that we want to store so what we can now do is we can go ahead and use the store method to store this in a particular location so in this case I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say files forward slash zipped dot zip so that now will store these files that I've chosen in a zip file in this location so if we go over to the browser now and refresh, you don't see anything on the screen. However, if we go back to our text editor and choose open within files, you see that we've got this new zip file here. If We just drag this into here. You can see that when I double click on this, I've got a folder called files within here. So that's basically mimicked the fact that I chose these files from within a folder called files. So it basically keeps your directory structure with you. 